everybody, I'm Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and I wanted to demonstrate for you the cable stitch. This is one of my favorite stitches and I use it in a lot of my designs and if you're looking for designs that in include this stitch, just look in the video description below and I'll have a list of some of them there that you can try on this channel. Okay, we're going to start off with any multiple of three plus two. Uh, and for every multiple of three that you include, you are going to be making a cable. All right, so we're gonna start off with a chain one. And just for the record, I am using a worsted weight yarn and I'm using a size I or nine or 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. However, these stitches can be made with any size fiber or crochet hooks. Okay, for a border stitch, I'm just going to crochet a single crochet here and I will do that at the end of the row as well. Now we're going to start our first cable with a single crochet. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to skip two stitches on the previous row, one, two, and in the next stitch we're going to work a single crochet. So this is what you have now. It looks almost like a buttonhole at this point. This is where it gets interesting. We're going to turn and we are going to work only in the chains and we are going to work a single crochet in each of the three chains that we just made. One, two, three. And now we're going to work a slip stitch in that single crochet. Slip stitch. Now we're going to turn again we're going to actually pull this down and then it's going to reveal those two stitches that we skipped and we're going to single crochet in each of those one two and we've completed our very first cable okay let's do that again I'm going to do this several times for you across the row chain three and now we're going to skip the two next stitches that have not been used make sure you don't count this as one because that's already been used skip one two single crochet in that next stitch. We're going to turn our work to work in the chains only and we work one single crochet in each of those three chains. One, two, three. Now we're going to slip stitch in that next stitch and we're going to turn back and you can see the two stitches that we skipped. If you want to pull this cable down, you can. And we work a single crochet in each of those stitches. Okay, let's do that again. Chain three. Skip the next two unused stitches. One, two. Single crochet in that next stitch. Turn. Single crochet in each of those three chains. And I am just working along a side of the chain. There's no need to try to find the back bump or anything on this. In fact, it's better to not do that. And then slip stitch in that next stitch, turn, and you can pull this back, reveal those two stitches that were skipped, and we single crochet in each of those two stitches. So let's stop and take a look at what we have. So far we have three cables. We have two more to do in this row, and I'll go ahead and do these with you. One, two, three, maybe a little bit faster. Skip two, single crochet in the next stitch. Turn, single crochet in each of those three chains. One, and two, and three. Slip stitch in that next stitch, and then we turn once again. It's a lot of turning for this stitch. And then single crochet in those two skipped places. Now we have one more to do. Chain three, skip two, and we're going to single crochet in that stitch, turn, single crochet in each of the three chains. One, two, three, slip stitch in that single crochet and turn and then reveal those two stitches that we skipped and we work single crochets one two and at the end of the row 
you can work a single crochet in that turning chain or if you even want to add an additional stitch and just make it a true multiple of three you could do that it's however you want to do that and I will say that if you're reading any of my patterns using the stitch please follow the pattern carefully um, use this stitch demonstration simply as a learning tool but definitely follow the written patterns because they do vary from from time to time okay now for row two we're going to chain one we're going to single crochet in that first single crochet now as we work behind each of these cables in order to maintain a consistent stitch count we are going to work three single crochets behind each cable and this is how we can do that we can work one two single crochets in that next stitch stitch and then one in that next single crochet now working behind the next cable work two single crochets one two in that single crochet and then you may have to pull this cable back just a little bit and work one there this is the the same stitch where we worked the cables going the other direction so let's just do that again two single crochets in the next stitch and then one in the next two single crochets behind the next cable and one in that next single crochet and then the next cable it's just two single crochets and then one and we work that all the way across and then we work one single crochet in that first single crochet of the row and turn and this is how the cable looks once it is completed so I hope you enjoyed this stitch video um, if you did please hit the thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel I have many many patterns that embody a lot of these really fun crochet cables and as you can see they may look a little complicated at first but once you take it stitch by stitch they are very achievable even for confident beginners God bless bye bye